Okay, the answer to chess. Blocking the pawn, nice and simple. Developing the knight, supporting the pawn. Logical. Bringing the pawn, supporting the pawn. Because as we know, if the bishop takes. So we're going to take the pawn. Simple capture. Mm, deliberating over this next move. So the queen takes, the knight can't take at the minute. So bring the bishop here, the knight can take, so the queen has to move. Or the bishop takes the bishop knight off the board. So we'll take with the pawn, because the pawn manages these squares, stopping the knight from jumping into this area. I'm going to develop the knight so that we can hopefully get castled. Let's bring the bishop here so we can get castled. Let's take, they're trying to avoid us from getting castled. And let's just castle. All simple, straightforward stuff. So the distraction movements that the opponent made, we circumvented. So we now can attack and look for the queen exchange if they're going to exchange, which they do. So we can capture. So all simple, pretty straightforward stuff. Now they're attacking this pawn here. Bishop can attack the bishop. Brings the pawns in line, but there's going to be pressure on this pawn from the rook. So we won't win that. We won't be able to defend. But I think they've lost an important tempi. Bringing the bishop here now to attack the pawn. So we could attack their bishop, but their rook could come and attack our knight. We take their bishop, the rook takes the knight, bishop will be safe. So we could do that. Let's attack the bishop. We are expecting the rook to come flying over. We have got double pawns here, so they may try and use that against us. So owning the files is key, so the rooks will be rushing to try and get these. Unless, of course, they're just going to try and tease the knight out. So let's face the rook off. Simple chess and see if there's any captures going on. As we've noticed, we're in the end game now, we've got the doubled pawns. If we do take this one, the rook is owning this file, so we have to be very careful. So I'm going to bring this rook here. The knight will probably attack the rook. So I'm going to bring it, so I think the knight will probably attack the rook. They don't want to bring our pawns in line. If they do, our knight can take. So the reason why we didn't want to take, as we was mentioning, didn't want their rook owning the file. It's going to be pretty difficult. Would be defense nanny having to defend the pawns while we're trying to get our king across. And it's quite tricky. So they're looking for a way of the knight getting into here, but it's not going to happen. So they may do their own, but they can't. Can't go here. So it looks like they should be taking the Yes, they should be taking. Let's take. Obviously, they're going to attack the pawn. We can defend itself or the rook can come behind. So they're still going for owning the file. So I think I'm going to push this way with the rook. Just supporting the pawn. See if we can get the king across. Looks like they're going to be looking to exchange the knight off. So I'm going to push the pawn up. So they've brought their king across and we can attack, but then we get back ramp mated. So he's attacking this pawn on the back. We could hit their knight, but it's not going to go very far. Knight comes here, hit the knight again, pawn takes, knight takes with a check. If we push this pawn so that the knight's supporting, this pawn's just going to come and hit the knight. Interesting situation, or we can just bring the knight down to block. I'm not sure if that's a clever move. Let's bring the knight down to block. Might give us time to get the king across and hit the rook. Knight's not coming in anytime soon. They may change the trajectory. No, nope, maybe not. So as you can see, we've blocked off the areas that potentially the opponent hope can take advantage of. 
um, especially coming towards this um, end game, owning the files with the rooks, blocking the position, checking the pawn position. It's not many options for them, but so the king can come across, like we said, to attack the rook. We're probably looking to go for a rook exchange. So we could hit the rook, doesn't have to exchange, but we'll try and go for that. Because at the minute, the knight looks like it's a little bit jammed in. So we'll take, he's going to just highly elevate his king. So I think we're probably safer trying to get our king in here because the pawns are equal on this side. So the pawn can hit the king. Put a check on slow movement so i've got to be careful though because the knight can whirlwind so putting the check on the king looks like the sensible thing to do we could come and attack the pawn but uh let's just hit the king with the pawn like we said we've got to be very careful because of the knight if we hit the knight which we're planning to do we could hit the king again but the king's just going to sit here and if it sits there, the knight is not getting it. So hit the knight. Then the knight comes and puts a check on our king. So that's why that position is not too favourable. Options and choices, options and choices. Checks first, position. Checks on the king first. We know the king's going to drop down. He's got a two on one then on the pawn. Our knight can defend by coming here, so defending the pawn. Then they hit the head of the snake. We take, they take. So it could be pretty drawish. Definitely not coming here because it just hits us straight away. We hit, check, comes down. Right, so the two on one is a killer. So maybe we're just doing this. If we do this, this is the case where the knight can go here with a check or put a check here and actually get this pawn. So that's the danger zone, isn't it? If we go here, king comes down, he's still got the two on one. We come here, his knight can still put the check on, sorry, put the check on the king here. We would have to move to the side to attack the knight, but then he can take the pawn. Ooh, what do we do in this situation? What do we do? Simple direct moves to remove his from the board knight. Puts a check on. No, it's definitely this one coming for this pawn. So we could move now. We could move the king now, couldn't we? Because he only has one on there at the minute, which is the knight. Or we could move the knight. Yeah, so that only happens if we go and attack. So if we move the king out of the way of the attack of any type yeah sounds like a plan i think we did the calculation to death there well for our side we've probably done it wrong but we see this could be elements of all this small movements or whatever could do this to stop the knight from jumping here at all Maybe we could have pushed that pawn up then. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so we could push this pawn. Or do we want to push here to stop this pawn? I think we're going to push this one. Just in case they are planning. So it looks like we're staying away from this one because obviously it comes down for the two on one. So now we could attack the knight. 
are we sending the knight to a good place? I think our knight needs to get activated first, doesn't it? Do we go and attack this? He simply defends. There's no additional move after that because his knight is there. Hold on. So if we go there, brings the pawn down to defend. We hit the knight. He could go there, I suppose. And then we take, his king takes. But that's not a very good position for us, is it? Because his king can come down here and support. I think it looks something like that, though. It looks something like that. Knight attacks the pawn, defends. Or doesn't defend and just attacks the knight. Let's not forget that. Attacks the knight. I think they'll attack the knight. Yep. I think they will attack the knight. So we jump up and attack the pawn and he attacks the knight again. We're going to end up trapping the knight. We go here, put a check on the king. King goes, right, I'm having you for lunch. Goes there. And we can't jump here, we can't jump there. Yeah, that might not work, might it? It felt good. Jump in here. Maybe the pawn hits. So we go there, the pawn hits. Pawn hits. Hit the king. With a check. Doesn't have to take, he can move down. Can move down. He moves down, we take. Pawn takes. No, it looks a bit ugly. I'm putting a lot of thought in this. I'm surprised the player is still here. I bet they've left the game when I make a move. Okay. Let's go with this. We think they're going to push the pawn. We hope they don't, but I think they are. So we can always just dance back about, dance back around again. Surprised they're still here. I thought they would have left the game. All right, so they've gone for the thing down. And what did we say we were going to be doing? Hitting the knight. But then we kind of thought if they come here, attacking our knight. And we take the knight. His king takes. His king looks like he's got space to come around here. And he's got these pawns. I think I'm going to have to take that chance, you know. Let's hit the knight. It's coming here. We don't have to take, though, do we? We can go here. Right, let's think of this position. So we can go here, attacking this pawn, which would have a fork on the king. Where can his knight go? can come and attack these pawns on the bottom. So I'm going to bring the knight up. So we'll be fighting for pawns. They'll be coming looking to take these pawns off. We get a check on his king. Tiniest of pluses I'm thinking is that we've got these pawns that are highly developed up the board. But something's telling me they might not last there too long. They have gone for it. Let's put the check on. We can't take this pawn at the minute because his knight is still there. And this could be where we hit their knight or we hit their knight this way. If he takes, then we take. He gets another pawn. Or king moves up. Let's break this down. It's a move order thing. Don't have to. Don't have any checks on his king. 
hit. So he says, well, okay, I'm just going to take, which he will do because he's going to be winning a pawn. Takes, we take, he takes, we come up. And he says, no, you're not passing and comes back and blocks us. Blocks us. We push on to his pawn. His pawn says, oh, come, come past. And I'm going to take this pawn. It's all in this next move. Do we come here with the knight even? What's, what's happening up here? Not hitting anything. I'm going to hit the knight. I'm going to hit the knight. And just try and see if we can cause some trouble. Leaning towards getting a promotion, if anything. So the take. We take. King takes, I'm assuming. Get here, push, push. And it might not work out anything like that. I might have totally missed something. If he takes, we take. But I don't think they're going to do that because they're going to win a pawn. Takes, takes. Take. Up. Comes back to block the king. Hit the pawn. Pawn goes, no, I want to be clever. I've got two pieces against this pawn. We push. King comes to the side. It's not happening, is it? I feel it. Oh. That might be the gold, might it? Not yet. We take. Or we push. If we push. Ooh, interesting. So we take, takes. Push. And he starts getting a bit clever. No, he starts moving his king over to block the pawn. Let's break it down. Takes, takes. Push. King comes over. Am I thinking I'm coming across here? Don't think I'm fast enough, am I? Don't think I'm going to be fast enough to takes. Push. King moves over. This pawn's going to get down faster than these over here, isn't it? King comes over. We come over. They go right. Got two against one. It's this pawn. We take. By the time I come across here, that pawn's going down. Okay. Take. Takes. King moves across. King moves down. Pawn moves up. King comes across. King moves up. King either takes or supports their pawn. Okay, let's do that. And let's see what it looks like without all the arrows all over the place. So then we move across. They come here. It looks like we might get there in time to take this pawn off and take this pawn off. But the problem we've got is they can do that opposition thing and get their king here. And it ends up being a draw. Not adverse to being in the draw. Are they 
moves behind go one take yeah it's going to get that opposition thing because my king won't get out and yeah we're not gonna it's going to be a draw if he yeah if he lets that happen and he's not doing that so it's going to be opposition i think they call it opposition So it looks like we scrabbled a draw out of it. Let's go. They know the deal. If they don't, we can take advantage, but it looks like they know the deal. So if we go up too far, then he'll come down for the pawn. So he's never going to let us get out of here with the king. Just going to keep going up and down. So it'll be a draw. So we can hit this pawn. So a pawn on the far flank here like this. We're not getting out. It's a draw. Could have ideas of doing this, but then they just come down here at the side of the pawn and we can't defend it. There is some sort of school of thought that in my head I'm thinking, well, if we do move the king here and then he comes for the pawn here and then we go down, he has to take the pawn, we come down and we're again probably going to be in the same situation. So I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and see what happens. He's offered a, he's proposed a take back. What, did they make a mistake? Shall we go down and see what happens? Oh, catching me by surprise. Same situation. He's going to get opposition again on the other side of the board. Yeah, we're not going to be fast enough to save the pawn. Same thing again. <laughs> well, we tried, didn't we? We tried. Yeah, he just needs to keep going up and down. That's funny. But it's having that knowledge. It's having that knowledge. Um, if you don't know it, then you can't utilise it to gain a draw. Um, I'm not sure what they've just done there. I think they've fluffed that. Oh, damn, they fluffed it. They should have kept opposition. He's proposed a take back. There's no take backs, dude. We had plenty of time. Damn. All they had to do was keep opposition there on the end. Like they were doing in the other part. Oh, man. Yeah, so it's draw. Yeah, that wasn't the right move, was it? All you had to do is keep doing... Maybe, maybe push in here, king. Yeah, king f3. If I go here too far, then he just comes here. The pawn's not getting up. So that's all they had to do. Very interesting game. The answer to chess.